It's now time to embed a copy of our artwork, and so most students are not going to click on your link and go through your files and find the PNG and open it so they can see it. But all students are going to want to see what you're working on, so it's a good idea to embed a copy of your project. And there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm going to show you both. This first video will show you through Google Drive. So when you go to Google Drive, if I was to select the PNG file and use our little link icon and get a shareable link, that link takes me to the page that the PNG is saved on. And so that's one option. I can copy that and then I can say this is my PNG and provide the clickable link and if the student that is viewing the project clicks on it, they'll be able to see the project. But that's still like too much work sometimes. And so if you're feeling really proactive, you can actually embed a copy of the image by double clicking on it. You want to open it in a new window. So you're going to have to come up to the top right hand corner and hit the little three buttons and choose to open in new window. It'll look the same, but now if you go back to the top three buttons in that corner, there's an option to embed the item. You can copy the embed code, Command C or Control C on a PC, and come back to your discussion thread. Now you can't paste this in the discussion because the discussion is a visual editor and what they're giving you is HTML code. But if you leave the cursor where you want the code to go, I want to put the picture down here, and hit this HTML editor in the top right hand corner, you can paste the code and go back to the rich content editor and you will see that your image is embedded in the discussion. If you're feeling really proactive, you can edit that code. So this link is where it's taking you to see the picture. If you want to, you can change the size that's displayed. You can make it display at 100% width and 500 height. And then when you post reply, you'll see that your artwork will be displayed for the class to see.